I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Welcome to Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. My name is Taylor, and no, I'm not Tyler. Taylor Gilbert is part of the basketball dynamic duo known as the Gilbert Twins. But these days, Taylor is spending a lot of time away from the court as she is in rehab, working to strengthen a torn ACL. I, I, I could just remember the sound perfectly. It was like a pop, like a loud pop. Like, you know, my dad told me, my dad has done it before, and he told me that you're the only person that hears it. But it was, it was loud in my ear, but no one else heard it. It was like a, it was, it was just a pop, and it, it just sounded, I just felt something, something tear there. I, and now it, it scared me, it scared me a lot. And it kept her out of the game all season long, the first time in years she has not played basketball with her sister. A hardship indeed because the twins have such a close relationship. It's, it's wonderful. You know, always having somebody there for you, talk to you when you like, you know, you need someone to talk to, just a friend to have, you know. It's, it's great. Growing up, they did everything together. So when one of them got interested in basketball, the other one followed, even though it took a little nudge from dad. At first, um, with basketball, um, Tyler, she was the fan, you know, she loved the sport. I wasn't really the athletic type. I really liked cheerleading and dancing, didn't really care too much for, you know, athletic stuff. So, you know, she kind of was the reason why I started. My dad said, told me that since she wanted to play, that I had to, uh, you know, get in the game as well. Like, was like in what grade, like sixth grade. It was, it was, and then it was fun, so I just continued to play. So by the time they reached high school, they already had the skills and the height to impress the varsity coach. The first time I ever met Coach Mize, it was at an open gym, and we saw her, and she was watching us play, and, you know, she looked, like, you know, excited just by watching us. Well, when the twins came to me as freshmen, um, you know, I had, I had, known from then on that I was going to have a good four years with with the twins um, and I was so happy that they were that they came to Hightower um, and with, with Taylor she showed so much growth um, so quickly uh, through her freshman year because she played partly on the junior varsity team and then partly on the varsity team um, and then just really kind of kept getting better and better every year um, the Gilberts are very coachable kids um, and so with with her I saw growth right off the bat Although they look exactly alike, they play the game differently with different playing styles. I would, you know, say that my sister's more the post, you know, type of, you know, banging in the paint type of person. And, you know, I could bang in the paint sometimes and do my post moves, but I'm more of the forward type of player. So that's how I would, you know, contrast our playing styles. Taylor and Tyler have been team leaders with the Lady Hurricanes helping the team get to the state championships in Austin two years ago. The Lady Canes didn't win, but they got a chance to see great Houston area players like Shanae Obumake in action. Yes, I, I've learned so much. I learned a lot from just watching her. Um, you know, I, you know, I noticed that she, her, I noticed her, you know, her, her fight on the court and just how, you know, how strong she went up to the goal, how, how quickly she, you know, got up and down the court. Uh, you know, no, it was no stopping her because I, I noticed her mentality. Like, if you know, it's when you have players like that on your team, then you know, you you don't lose you don't lose games if you have players like that on your team. And that's that's one thing that you know motivated me. And just as the Lady Canes were poised for a season in which they had the potential of returning to Austin for another shot at the state championship. Taylor went down with an injury dreaded by athletes. I was at basketball practice. Um, it was not, it was like really right, but like soon before our first game. And um, I was going up for a, doing a post move. And once I did that, did a step, um, my knee went out and that's when I heard the sound. And, you know, I just fell to the ground and started crying. And I, all I could think about was just, you know, I was, I was, you know, upset about it. She went up for an offensive rebound in practice and came back down on it wrong um, and screamed um, and grabbed for the knee. Uh, it took the wind out of me completely. Um, and not necessarily for me, but for the other girls and for her um, and just what that would do to our, our team. Um, and so some other kids had to step up, but just completely devastating to our, our program. Turned out to be a torn ACL, an injury that has kept Taylor on the bench for the entire season of her senior year. 
it was hard at first, um, but then again, I got inspired because it, you know, watching them kind of helped me want to be out there. So it kind of, you know, hyped me up for, you know, future, future plans. Made me, you know, think, think and work harder. Taylor is in rehab three days a week, working out that knee and trying to get back in shape. It, you know, mainly it's different, different things. Sometimes I, you know, get on the treadmill at times, do the, um, get on the incline, um, uh, the, the, the trampoline, to do some jogging on the trampoline, and that's, that's my workout. Both twins have signed with the University of Houston, and Taylor fully believes she will be healthy enough to start preseason games with the Lady Cougars. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.